David Fafita. Oh, Davey boy. Wow. I yeah. think we're all... Stunning. All shocked around just before 8 a.m. on uh, Wednesday morning when a couple of emails lobbed into our inbox. And we're I like, thought it was a... Uh, a prank. Yeah, I thought it was like. A, <laughs> seriously, I thought. Well, it was I, just, a I saw the emails. I didn't really read them, and yeah. then the phone starts blowing up, and I'm yeah. like, "What's going on here?" And then going, "Wow." Yeah. So this all all came out out of a bit of a, a surprise for us. It happened. It came out of a surprise to the Roosters yeah. as well when Nick Pilatus received a phone call from Fafita's management late on on Tuesday night, yeah. uh, about 10 p.m. on on Tuesday night. The the uh, the first call was made, and then. Nick woke up early on, on Wednesday morning, rang the coach and said, you know that David Fafita guy? He's not coming. <laughs> and um, it, it sort of unfolded from there. As of Wednesday afternoon, David had yet to reach out to the Roosters uh, personally, and uh, I'm not sure if, if that's happened since. But um, obviously we're all surprised by it. What do we make of that day for the Roosters, I guess, mm. uh, initially, and then ready for the Titans? Well, it certainly rocked the Roosters' boat. That's for sure, because they they had done a lot of forward planning for 25, 26, and it all included David Fafita, a big blue chip uh, salary cap signing. And now that's, that, that's a huge chunk of your cap. Um, and, you know, the repercussions around Angus Crichton and Satili Tupanua are the big ones at the moment. And I'm a little bit concerned what impact that'll have in the dressing room. Uh, when you're told two players that you're free to go, suddenly, no... Hey, maybe there's a chance we can keep you. I don't um, think Tupinua stays, Dave. I think that's you're right about his reaction. I think Tupinua will leave because I think he'll get interest from elsewhere. And the fact they've told him basically you're free to go. Mm. I think I think in his head, my sense is that he's gone. He will go. I think Angus the chance of staying. I don't, they always said that, that they were hopeful to keep the Angus yeah. and Dave. So even if Dave was coming, so I, the issue is with Angus. His price has gone up, and what they thought they might have got Angus for a month or two months ago, it's doubled now. Yeah. And he's gonna. There's a lot of clubs interested in Angus as well, so that's the challenge for them where, where Angus is concerned. Yeah. But I, I think Tupinero will leave. I think he's. I think. You think he'll still go regardless? I think he'll still go regardless. Yeah. They've still got too many. Back Even rollers. if Angus, cro- depending on Angus now, or. Well, I think they can't. As uh, I said, I think it's hard for them to. I'd, I wouldn't resign Angus. Back now. Wouldn't oh, resign no, Angus. I wouldn't. Hey, one, one step at a time. So you think that even Fafita, Fafita wow. doesn't come, Taking charge. Angus yeah. Crichton goes, and yeah. they'll lose Satili to Yeah, I think there's every chance Satili leaves, yes. Even if Angus doesn't stay? Correct. Wow. Yes. And you think they shouldn't re-sign no, Angus? No, I, I don't think they should re-sign Angus, and, I, and, and I'm, I'm seeing what everyone's seeing. I, like I'm, I'm seeing a back row in charge, like yeah. just dominating at the moment. However, um, it's taken a long time, a long time for Angus Crichton to get to this point in time. And... My concern with the Roosters is is that there's a vacuum of talent leaving the club, uh, a lot of leadership leaving the club, and and I'm and I'm not being overly harsh towards Angus here, but he's not a recognised leader, and so when the when the Roosters go through this change next year, a bit of a reset, blooding new players, I don't know if Angus is the leader that the Roosters need um, to be guiding them. Um, and I just wonder if they just go, right, 2025 is a reset year. Get Use Angus's money for 26. What is it, 600, 700? Mm. Right, probably. probably. Yeah. You know, use that money wisely for 26 and and, and go again. I, I just don't see 25 as being a major rooster's year given the amount of uh, players that they're going to lose. Yeah, I find so that. So why not, why not just call it without Angus? Yeah. And, st- and starting form, him for 26. His form has been irresistible, though. Yeah, and that's he's the gap. He's, 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 he's probably get picked in the origin he's, team. Oh, he he's should, he'll be picked in the origin He's yeah. the form back row. He's playing yeah. better than but you've got to look Liam Martin or any other back row in yeah. New South Wales. You've got to look at it from the moment. Roosters' point of view, Mick. They've put, they've put years into... He hasn't been bad all that time. Like Last no, yeah. year, he was terrible. The year before, he was playing for Australia and yeah. New South Wales. He was outstanding. Yeah. He's in career-best form, I think, now. Yeah. But, yeah. obviously, last year was a write-off. That first year was a bit up and down. But those, I think, you know, the year before... Uh, the World Cup year, yeah. Reedy, he was out. He was yeah. outstanding. So yeah. um, I touched on this when, when, when on 360 when I said the potential ripple effect of Dave Fafita going to Penrith about how you know those players had taken pay cuts and stayed there for a lot less, and you're dropping a million dollar player into your system. And I think we're going to see it now with the Roosters in a in a in a weird and odd different way where 
we, we were going to see it. He was going to the Roosters, and the Roosters needed to tap Crichton and Tupanua to make way for him. And now it's the opposite effect of he's not coming, and they've got two players that they've told... We're yeah, not sure. We're yeah. not sure about it. You. Is, yeah. It is, yeah. It's a culture. dangerous it's a culture at the They do love the shiny new toy, right? Yeah. And they're sort of. And when you play you, there, yeah. it's, you a, know, hey, it's a delicate. Know it's a delicate dressing room. It is. It's a, it is. It is. And it, I think Robo it's right on the of, precipice of of stuffing your culture. It's. It, it is difficult to navigate the blokes that you're coaching now and the Roosters are in this shot, premiership shot, no doubt. I think everyone thinks the Roosters can win the comp this year and trying to plan for the future totally. against blokes but that are in your doors that you're yeah. seeing every day. So that is that is a delicate conversation. That uh, And we heard Angus earlier in this week, I think it was, where yeah. he wasn't overly pleased by the Fafita sign-in. And, um, yeah, didn't he? Oh, he didn't know about it. He yeah. didn't. So. I think there was a bit of a miscommunication there, though, because the club had been talking to his agent. Mm. He, the agent, Dave, just, Dave Rawlings, hadn't got around to speaking a bit. To Angus, to Angus about the latest or the lay of the land. So that's, I think there was a bit of miscommunication I, there. I can't, I, I'd be stunned with Angus all the players is, that are Angus leaving. Angus has been around long enough to yeah. know, know what to say and not what to say. Yeah, I know. Well, it's a pointed message, right? Yeah. yeah. I, I'd be surprised if I'm the Roosters and I don't land for feed on and I let Crichton and Tupanua walk out that door. No, what fair. was interesting was Hoops last night on 360 backing up the stuff that you had on Sean Johnson. From a couple yeah. of weeks ago, where we didn't know, we didn't I didn't know, know it was that. at fifty, no, but where people yeah. were hammering us for, we smashed over for the the smashed. roosters linked to Sean Johnson. Media. Do you want to have a? Do yeah. you want to have your say back, Reedy? You clowns out there who smash <laughs> us on social media, pipe down. Reedy's pipe always down. right. Is that yeah. true? Except oh. it, oh, I declared Nathan Cleary was going to West Point. <laughs> that was a long time ago. We have moved on. He's pulled out the James <laughs> Cram point. point. Yeah. No. We wrote that and we got smashed over that. Yeah, I just they blamed were, you. They were, they were in for him. They were, had a red hot go. Well, what about the Titans? And the Roosters. Um, ready? Oh, it's a great result. Yeah, you know, great result for the Titans. Yeah, I'm I like happy it. for them because, you know, I wrote a column last week saying they need to pay attention to what the Roosters have done. They've turned around and kept him. So I've got a bit of egg on my face there. But um, it's good for Dave. If you know Dave, he's a very simple guy, Dave, right? He loves family. And that's the big thing for him in this situation very tight with his family and I don't think he'd really um, um, what's the word I'm looking for really um, come to terms or dealt, right. come to terms with the fact that he was leaving his family and going to have to move away from his family and I think ultimately that's what's brought him back Des has obviously played a part and Des has been convincing him to stay but I think over, uh, the overriding um, theme was, was about he didn't want to move away from his family in the end and the other interesting thing was he, he really wrestled with that See, even after he made the decision to go to the Roosters, mm. he was having th second thoughts about whether he should have gone to Penrith. Second thoughts. Second, yeah. second thoughts. Second <laughs> thoughts. So he actually, uh, he just struggled on multiple levels with the decision. Do so, we, you know, ultimately he's decided to stay, and I'm, I'm happy he is staying. Do we like the 10-day cooling-off period? I don't no. like it at all. No. I don't mind it. What's he the big deal? He signed a contract, though. What's the big deal? He'd only agreed to go. He, he was in part of the 10-day cooling-off period, right? Well, we're in the midst of it. See, some people have told me he isn't. Some have said he was. But it makes no difference because no. you can still do this within the rules. Yeah, Even if you had signed I, I, anything, yeah. like it's no. I got no, I got no drama with it. Why What's do we? Why do we need it? Well, well, well this thing's ever the hey, we need it. Or look, it, it, hey, just make your mind up. There's a lot of players out there, and like it's these are massive career, uh, they are, life changing no, decisions. No one's rushing of which, them. Of which they're tw some are 21, 22, 23 years of age. Mm. Uh, to to Rudy's point, Dave Fafita is hugely family focused, and once, and and I've got no doubt, I've got no doubt the headlines down here, um, the booing of the Titans fans, I think it all played a, a role in his emotions, and I think I think it's justifiable. G give them my issue give them with time the, to contemplate the call. The ten day cooling off period. Correct me if I'm wrong, Rudy. Is that the fact that you still you can notify your current club, yes, right, but you still don't have to take the offer from the club, the that's buying club, the buying club. Yes. Right. So I think the way it should work is that, and that doesn't mean you have to stay at your current club either. No, you can just you can, blow it, blow it up completely. Market, you can go again. back on the market. So my issue with yeah. the ten-day cooling-off period is that you should be made, if if in that ten-day period, mm. right. So say you're David Fafida, you go to the Titans. Look, I've got this offer yep. from this club. I've so, I've agreed or whatever the case, yep. whatever the wording is. Yep. If he doesn't accept, if he doesn't stay at the Titans, he must take. The original offer that's on the table within that 10 day period. Why? Because otherwise it's just leverage, it's a joke. It's player managers yeah, can use disagree. it in their own way. I don't disagree. You should be made. That, that was my original point when this whole, okay, I think this is new this year, right? 
came out in the in, in the off season. I'm pretty sure. I'm pr I think it, it came. I think it came. Last I think this year. is the last first. I think this is the first like season. It was last of year. It. it was announced, but um, that's my whole point of it is is that that's fine. You can have a cooling off period, but you should be made to stick to with stick, the same to figures to stick with that club yeah. that you've agreed to because you know we can have some funny games and charades and the like where um, you know he could have ended up at Penrith. We could yeah. have ended up at another That's club, true. right? So you should only be able to, after that 10-day period, you either stay at your current club or you go to the club where you the instigated club. that 10-day well, period. Well, there were suggestions once he'd made the decision to go to the Roosters. Didn't Ivan Cleary text him after that and say, oh, hey, we're still in. We're still, we're still keen. Oh, because of the 10 days. The 10 days. Yeah, yeah. So I don't like so, that. Yeah. Okay, can um, I just throw a real mate. quick curly one? Yeah, throw it. Um, Sam Walker. Mm. Do the Titans... Well, they if they don't, they're, they're mad. Now make a play for Sam Walker, given that we, well, given that we know uh, Excuse me. that the, the, one of the pulling powers of the Roosters was Dave's. They have to. They have to make Sam a play Walker. for Sam Walker. The Roosters will not let let, let him get a mark. Well, uh, he's going to be a million dollar player. Uh, yeah. Someone will, like someone will give him a million dollars. What's to say Sam them. doesn't want to go back to Queensland? Well, I mean, I, we spoke to him two weeks ago. I think it was, and he said. Uh, um, Sydney's my home, the Roosters my home now, and I want to start. Sure. Now, players say that, right, when you put them under the blowtorch, but he seemed pretty uh, um, genuine about it. And the Roosters are pretty intent to build a the team around is, him. The issue is, if, if you're the Gold Coast, if I'm the Gold Coast and I run the Gold Coast, if I've got the cap room, I'm throwing 1.2, 1.3 at him. I agree. Yeah, well, the Roosters won't go there. The no. only catch to that is they've already got Tino on a million. Yeah. There He's got on about 1.2 team. Yeah, for feeder on a close to a million. So yeah. I don't know if, like, if I was the Gold Coast, would I have fought so hard to pay David Fafita a million dollars when I need to rejig that roster completely? Unless it doesn't need a complete rejig. Yes. Unless they know. If you get a half. Yeah. Why? Yeah, well. I think if they get a half, it's sold. Well, I, think, well, I think they need two halves because four is on the way out, right? Yeah. He's. A yeah. week by week proposition, so they need Probably. two halves. AJ Brimson okay. can play. Well, you got one controlling half like a Sam Walker. You can play. Well, AJ, Jaden Campbell. Well, they are both no, six. So far, Dez and Justin Holbrook have been unable to unlock both those at the same time yeah. on the field. Well, that's an issue they've got to resolve, right? But you can play one of them at six. Can you? I think you can. Well, yeah. AJ was playing at centre this year. Like, Campbell. Uh, one six. of them. They, they both need to be on the field, and a coach needs okay. to work out how to use them both because yeah. they are elite players. But maybe if you've got Sam ha Sam Walker at halfback, there's some points in them. Then you if you have AJ and Campbell and yeah. Sam Walker, Sam Walker can, on the field, they'd be fun. That. They'd be fun I don't to think watch. That roster's miles off. The forward pack's not. We've got no, Wake Up, uh, Tino, pack. Fafita, Bo Firma. Yeah, well, yeah. forward pack. Yeah, so all those players you just mentioned are in Queensland Origin contention. Yeah, the forward pack's yeah. good. Yeah, so you get a halfback with AJ, Jaden Campbell. AJ's, AJ would have been close to getting, getting on the Queensland bench yeah. um, if who, he wasn't injured. Who are the centres again? I can't remember the centres. Um, they've got uh, Brian Kelly. 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 I rate Kelly. Yeah, I need a centre. I rate if Kelly. If they get a centre, so if they well, so. miraculously sign Sam Walker and get a centre, that team's a contender. I'm declaring it today. Well, well they've got to sign Sam Walker Add another one to your top eight, Reed, man. <laughs> Next year. Cool age. So there's been... Oh, you're up, you're up. 